गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आई एम विके तिवारी सर आई सेल टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स इन मैथमेटिक्स वी शैल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर वन रिविजन बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू आई शुड बी स्टडी मैथमेटिक्स वी शुड स्टडी मैथमेटिक्स बिकॉज इट टेल्स अस द वे ऑफ लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड विदाउट मैथमेटिक्स यू विल नॉट एबल टू रिजोल्व योर डे टू डे प्रॉब्लम नाउ in this chapter revision first of all i would like to tell you what we are going to deal with we deal with the numbers now numbers those we are going to use they are of two types one is the natural number other is the whole let's start the topic now in this revision chapter topic chapter number 1 as you know tan how can we write Tan is equal to tan into one. Now, tan once that is equals to one tan, or we can say tan. Why? Because as we know, tan into one is equals to tan. Also, tan tans is equals to tan into tan, and that is equals to one hundred. now in the same way hmm. 10 10000 is equals to 10 into 10000 and that is equals to 1 lakh we know that greatest one digit number is 9 now if you add 1 to this greatest one digit number you get the is smallest two digit number what is the number the number so obtained is 10 now let's take the another example as we know 99 is the is greatest two digit number now to the number if we add 1 we get 100 and what is 1 100 Hundred is the is smallest three digit number, and what is ninety nine? Ninety nine is the greatest two digit number. So, in this way, we come across the conclusion: if we add one to the ninety nine, we get hundred. I would like to repeat it again: if we add two digit. greatest number 1 we get the smallest three digit number it's clear to all okay now so what we can say in this way we can say 100 is the smallest three digit number now let's take a question question is write the number name for the following The number given here is seven six comma four five comma three two one. So this number is given in Indian system. See in Indian system, when we write the number, we put first comma after three digits. When we proceed from right to the left. first comma we put after the three digit next comma after two digits and so on now see so our num what is our number our number here is 76 lakh 45321 now how shall we spell it i have written there it would be 70 Six lakh forty. See children, when you write the forty, it should be F O R T Y. Although we know four spelling is F O U R, but forty spelling is F O R T Y. It's clear. So it will be forty. Our number will be seventy-six lakh forty. 
5321 one once again i would like to repeat it see our number here is 76 lakh 45321 here you see when we have written the number I have, I have not written here S in thousand. I have written five thousand. So S we shall not use. In the same way, when I have written three hundred, I have not used the S. I have written three hundred. Okay. Now let's take the another example. The next question is write the numeral for the following. The number here is. 17 lakh 30 thousand and 5. Now how shall we write it? Our answer here will be first we write the 17 then 30 then 005. It means when we move from left to the right first of all we write 17 then we put the comma, then we write 30 and then we put the comma and the remaining three digits and these, these three digits are 005. Okay. Now, let's take the another question. Give the expanded form of this number. The number is 17, comma, 96, comma, 5, 4, 3. I would like to repeat it again. Here the question is 